right, hello everyone, and welcome to the 2012 Kimono Fashion Show. Uh, translated literally from Japanese, uh, the word kimono means thing to wear. <laughs> Historically, in Japan, it was a term used to refer to any type of clothing, but now it's come to refer to a very specific type of traditional Japanese garments. All of the outfits you see here have been meticulously researched and coordinated for your viewing pleasure. And they come mostly from the personal collections of myself, Marie Jose Cayer, Moral Agnerian, Tanya Archibald, Justine Sobakan, and Erica Pai. The theme for this year's fashion show is the four seasons because seasonality plays an important role in the world of kimono. For centuries, the Japanese convention has been that one's garments should reflect the seasons and the changes happening in nature. In today's fashion show, you will get to see how kimono reflects the seasons. So our first model is Jessica. And she is dressed as a geiko or a fully-fledged geisha. She's dressed for Shigyoshiki, which is an event that is celebrated every year at the beginning of January. You can tell that she's dressed for this event by the rice ear kanzashi in her hair. Her kimono features a number of uh, wintry motifs, including snow and crashing waves. The crashing waves hint at the stormy seas of winter. Her outfit also has snow-covered chrysanthemums and snow-covered plum blossoms. The chrysanthemums remind us to say goodbye to autumn, and the plum blossoms remind us to look ahead towards spring. Her pine and bamboo motifs symbolize strength and endurance and hope in the midst of winter. And finally, the two mandarin ducks that appear on her skirt, those are a symbol of love and fidelity a perfect motif for a celebration in which a geisha renews her devotion to the arts for another year. And our second outfit is worn by Andrew, and he is dressed as our geisha's patron. And his kimono was dyed by, Nash by Japanese national treasure, Tetsuyo Kiguma. It features a scene from a place called Bie on the island of Hokkaido. And you can tell from the wintry sunset that this is definitely a wintry kimono. So our next model is Maral. And she is dressed as the infamous Yuki Ona. Yuki Ona is a snow demon who seduces men to their death in the cold of winter. Her kimono is covered in snowflakes and hailstones. <laughs> Thank you very much for all. Our next two outfits uh, feature models, Melody and Justine. And they are dressed as women of the Meiji period, which was 1868 to 1911. Melody is wearing the dress of a married woman, while Justine is wearing the dress of an unmarried woman. You can tell because of her long dangling sleeves. Both of the ladies are wearing uchikake, which are basically showy overcoats. They were meant to be worn as a show of status uh, for wealthy women. And all of their uchikake feature a motif known as shochikubai, or the three friends of winter. And they are pine blossoms, bamboo leaves, and, sorry, pine boughs, bamboo leaves, and plum blossoms. And underneath, all of their kimonos feature plum blossoms as well, which are wintry motifs. So next up, we have Lily and Michelle. And they are dressed for Hanami, which is a Japanese spring festival when the cherry blossoms are in view. 
people dress up in their finest kimono and go to visit the cherry trees and view the cherry blossoms and have wonderful parties. And so you can see that Lily's outfit is patterned in cherry blossoms to reflect this event in the seasons. Next up we have Danielle. And she is dressed as a festival dancer. You can tell by the very bold patterns of her kimono. She's wearing irises and wisteria blossoms, all featured motifs of the spring. Our next two models are Ellen and Zina, and they are dressed as a maiko and a minarai. The maiko is an apprentice geisha and the minarai is an apprentice perspective. So basically she's not quite an apprentice yet. And our maiko is showing our minarai around. The two of them are dressed for spring. You can tell the maiko is wearing iris kanzashi, which are worn only in the month of May. And our minarai is wearing water lilies. Both of them have butterflies, wisteria, and running water on their kimonos. Our minarai's checker pattern is actually a seasonless motif, but the wisteria on her obi is what makes her dress for the spring. And now we have two outfits to represent the summer. We have Shauna, and we also have Marie Jose. Now Shauna is dressed as an oiran, which is a very high class Japanese courtesan. She's wearing lovely rose motifs all over her kimonos and her obi. And this is a well-known summer motif. It's mostly from Western influence. And you can tell that she wears these incredibly tall shoes. These were a feature of Oiran. That's one of their specific uh, aspects of their outfit. And the next two outfits that we have representing summer are being worn by, sorry, I don't remember your name. <laughs> sorry, one of, you, one of them is Lisa. Um, and the two of them are wearing outfits from the early Showa period, so the 1930s to 1950s. And you can see that there's willow motifs on one of them. This is another summer motif. And on the long dangling sleeves, outfit we have bush clover and carnations which represent the summer as well as boats at harbor. Uh, the lilies are actually a feature of western influence as well. So our first outfit to represent the fall is worn by Tanya. And she is dressed uh, in an outfit from the late Showa period, so the 1970s or so. And her outfit features chrysanthemums. Uh, chrysanthemums are a very symbolic flower to the Japanese. Uh, they symbolize both the month of October and the imperial family as well. Our next two outfits are worn by Jennifer and Val. And they represent clothing from the Taisho period, which was 1911 to 1926. And you can tell again, uh, Jennifer is wearing a clothing for a married woman by the short sleeves. And Jennifer is, or sorry, Val is wearing a kimono for an unmarried woman. 
Bounce kimono features phoenixes and falling leaves, an appropriate autumn motif, and Jennifer's kimono features turning maple leaves and chrysanthemums. And next up, we have two models, Patricia and Kevin. <coughs> Patricia is dressed as a female samurai. They were rare, but they did exist. And Kevin is dressed as a daimyo, or warlord. Both of them are wearing autumn-themed outfits, patterned with chrysanthemums, again representing status and the imperial family as well. So everyone, these are the models of the 2012 Kimono Fashion Show. of myself, Christina Stoppa, Marie-José Cayer, Maral Agnerian, Tanya Archibald, Marie, or sorry, Erica Pai, and Justine Sobacan. Special thanks to the Toronto Kimono Club. Hair ornaments were created by Christina Stoppa and Maral Agnerian, and makeup was done by Tabitha Paxton, Cassandra, and Hannah Rana. Thank you very much. Visual K Fashion Show coming up shortly, so stay in your seats. <laughs> <laughs> 